Hey there, everybody. It's Penta Hybrid. I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4. <sighs> but that's not what this video is about. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're not new. This video is going to be my first ever unboxing video. And the reason I'm unboxing something is because I got this in the mail yesterday. And for... Those of you that don't know what IndieBox is, there will be a link in the description below. Uh, IndieBox is the better loot crate. IndieBox will send you a single indie game, so it's not like Humble Bundle where you get like 40 of them, or like GOG where they'll put bundles on sale or whatever. But what IndieBox does is stupendous. Uh, where Loot Crate will send you a bunch of nerdy things like a shirt, some pop figurines, stickers, meh. Indie Box sends you a game, an indie game that you could buy on Steam, except packaged like you bought it out of a freaking video store. So it comes in a case, it comes with a manual, an art book sometimes. There's always a little bit of a collectible aspect to it. It comes in a cellophane wrap. It comes with a Steam key for the game that you bought with it on the side of the box so you can get the game on Steam out of the box without opening it up just in case you want to be that collector kind of guy. But we're going to open it up. We're going to dive right in. We're going to open this up. I've not opened this before. Oh, man. This month's game, I don't know if you can see that, is Axiom Verge, the uh, indie Metroidvania hit that has been recently making waves. Oh, goodness. Look at this. Okay. This is the box. I don't know how well you can see that. There's the box. The side of the box. Bottom of the box. Other side of the box. And the back of the box. Focus. Screenshots, reviews, art. Comes with single player, achievements, soundtrack, and controller support. Because I'm not the biggest collector, we're going to open it. And we're going to see everything that's inside. Got my handy dandy piece of brass from work. Should work. Got a little bit of a cold, so if I sniffle, I'm apologizing ahead of time. Alright. Okay. So that's out. Okay. So, where do we open you? I open you from the top? I don't know what that is, but I want it. Oh my god. Oh my god, my styrofoam is broken. The boats. Damn it, the styrofoam. What? What? Is this another... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not going to be able to show this entire thing. This is all... This is a poster of the map of the game. Just like my Super Metroid map. So I'm going to hold it in front of my face. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But that is the map. And apparently the places got different stages. Meruru, Eribu, Ukidna, Abzu, Indi. <laughs> Man, that's so cool. That's going on the wall. I got room for this one because it's sort of thin. I got room for this one. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. It'll fit right there. Oh my 
my god. I even have a spot for it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, that's going right on the bed. So that's gonna go up there as soon as this video is done. And then for my next video, vlog style video, you'll see that up there. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Indie box. This is the newsletter for the month. It comes with a newsletter. It tells you kind of what is in the box. We're not gonna read that yet. We're, uh, we're gonna read through that once everything else is done. Oh shit, what is that? What is that? What the fuck is this? We'll figure out what this is, unless you guys want to tell me what this is. On the side, on the front of it, it says, not sure how to open your USB. And this is what I got. I have no idea what that is. I'll figure that out later. Oh my Styrofoam. Get out of this styrofoam. Right there. Making a mess. Oh dear, those are saved. I'm saving those two for last. You're not seeing those yet. What is this? Are these stickers? <gasps> it's a sticker! Oh. Oh, it's an Axiom Virginia Box sticker! Oh, yeah. I can't find the camera. There it is. It's an indie box. Axiom Verge themed sticker. That's awesome. I'm saving that for last because, oh god, is that what I think it is? I'm just touching it. I'm just touching it for now. Just to get a, my fingers a good idea. Is another sticker? Oh, woo. Oh, is that a, that's a badass logo. The logo of the game. The Axiom Verge logo, it's kind of like an A and a V on top of one another. It's really cool. Oh, shit. Throwing it around. Threw it on the ground. All right. Styrofoam. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's the, uh, here's the game. You might be... I get it now. I get it now. We'll talk about it in a second. I get it now. So this is the game. Seems kind of silly. It's basically just a USB that flips out, I think. Does it flip out or does it get pushed out? like this it kind of flips out like that and you plug it in and then you can just flip it back and now I understand this I'm not sure how to store your USB you could take the case you put that right in there it's all padded and cushiony close it up <gasps> My case is cracked. My case is cracked. That's not good. I won't complain. I won't complain. <sighs> it's got some weight to it. I've got some weight to it. What? That's that's metal. That is a metal axiom verge. Like got the two prongs here. I think it's a stand. Okay, okay, let's find out what this big thing is. This is this is what I've been looking at the entire time. Something is in there, and I haven't looked at it, and I want to look at it, and we're going to touch it now. It's not a controller. It's 
pretty freaking cool. Somehow it's got to stand. It's not the most stable stand in the world. Like it'd very easily fall out. Unless it's supposed to be like this. That's just silly. Yeah, it's not the most stable stand in the world, but that's cool nonetheless. It's very cool. Right. Two things for last. We've got this is gonna freaking glare really bad, isn't it? Yeah, we gotta take it out of there. That's why you don't do things with plastic on them, because it's gonna glare your camera. And now this thing came bent as well. Just a little bit. Okay, so this is the Axiom Verge original soundtrack. All the track listings, indie box on there. They designed this themselves. Inside. Why are you being such a bastard? Inside is this is a CD. Music is on, so that'll be thrown on my computer and ripped later on. It's got 18 tracks. Distributed by on here is upside down. That's kind of neat. I think that might be on purpose. Alright, and last but not least, the Axiom Verge instruction manual. It's got Letter from the developer about the game, controls, the Sudra areas. Sudra, I'm guessing, is the planet. Athetos profile, Ruscala profile, Trace profile is the main character, that's you. Dr. Hammond profile. It's got like all of this all of this lore and all of this. Interesting stuff that used to be in instruction manual. Uh, I can't read that because that's the bosses of the game. I don't want to spoil anything for myself. So it looks like we got three, six, eight bosses plus a final boss. I'm gonna guess. Maybe eight bosses, probably different. Look at all the different weapons. Weapons page one. Weapons page two. Weapons page three. Weapons page four. That's 20 weapons. Axiom Verge credits, Indie Box credits, and the notes section. Oh god, it brings me back. Brings me back a long ways. Alright, it's a 22 page manual. Why aren't we doing these anymore? I used to love the manuals. I'd bring these to the freaking bathroom and read them on there <sighs> so this is apparently the 12th indie box so far because this is the 12th manual or 12th edition 12th issue so let's find out what was all in here and if we got all of it pretty much dear indie box family member we got our huge letter from indie box I'm not going to read that because I'm kind of mad at them already because it came a month late this was October's uh, they got backlogged and mine got sent out like three weeks afterwards, so I'm a little upset, a little salty that I was, I got it this late, but, eh, well. Uh, what's in the box? Collector's Edition box. Warning, this box is so huge that it has its own gravitational pull. This is the biggest box we've ever shipped, and it's sporting awesome box art featuring Axe and Birds, Else Nova. This is the biggest box you've ever shipped? It is a pretty sizable box, what am I going to say? USB cartridge containing Axiom Verge for Windows, Mac, Linux, or 
that depicts Axon Virgin antagonist Athetos. Yep, it's a DRM free. Uh, the instruction manual. A 24 full color pages to help navigate the twists and turns of the labyrinth of Sudra. We even included the notes section of the back to keep track of every pixelated corridor you will explore and re-explore. Thank you, IndieBox. I missed those notes sections. Uh, IndieBox sticker. We got the IndieBox sticker here. Axie Verge soundtrack. That's what that is. The Elsa Nova bookend. That's what that is. It's a bookend for on your shelves. I thought it was just like a playful stand. No, it's a bookend. So say you got like there. I'll read it here. Let's say it's a Elsa Nova bookend of our first custom figure. Pretty good job, guys. Pretty good job. I'm sure you are as excited as we are. This will fit perfectly on your shelf while helping you to keep all your indie boxes in order. Now see what we had to make. Now you see why we had to make this our biggest box yet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a bookend. It's for, you put it on your shelf and it, your books rest against it. Like I said, it's, it's a little flimsy and the damage is going to happen to it if it gets knocked or pushed or anything. These should have been a little more uh, lock in. But for what it is and for what it came with, I will not complain. Just suggest. Axiom Verge sticker. Achieved. Uh, Axiom Verge map. Achieved. And that will be going on the wall of posters. Uh, and the newsletter. Yep. Newsletter is what I'm reading, of course. Alright, so Axiom Verge sticker. You must know... You know what goes well with a sticker? Another sticker. This time featuring three of the glorious pixelated Rusalki, Ophelia, Kathrasakaska, and Veruska. Axiom Verge map. This map covers the entire world of Suda. This map... This is a modified map originally made by Tom Hap to plan out the entire game. Oh, that means every detail is marked ensuring you get on the fast track to 100% completion. Everything is on this? Oh god, items and shit are on there. I'm not looking at that. I'm just going to put it on the wall. I'm not looking at that. I want to play this game. Like a Metroid. It's a Metroidvania. That's that's the map he used when designing this game. So everything is on there. Items, save points, secret locations. I can't touch that. I can't touch that until I beat the game. I can't. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Metroidvania fanatic. I like to dive into the world and not know what I'm doing. A shout out to Pro Jared for featuring them on his freaking channel. What a dumbass. What a dumbass. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, look at me. Look, Pro Jared. I review games with the Pokemon. I love you, Pro Jared. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being a dick. Uh, yeah, PAX Prime. Steamroller, Outhouse Games, Black Sea Catfish. I mean, yeah, that's that's the indie box. I, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a one month, three month, or six month, or whatever subscription that you can do, and it's like twenty bucks. I think I think I paid nineteen dollars for this to have it shipped to me, and for nineteen dollars, I got the game and in in, in an, an old style instruction manual, the soundtrack, which the game plus the soundtrack already is like twenty four bucks. Uh, stickers, and thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video with me. Of me unboxing my indie box game or my indie box I do hope sincerely that you guys take it uh, take a look at it consider it the only issue the only issue that I've had with them and this is my first one so the only issue I've had with indie box so far was that was late about a month the only thing that I've had wrong with it is it was a month late I mean the entire box itself it got real loud there hold on let's see does it have a date on it? It should have a date on it. It was... Yeah, it was shipped out... On... F to get to me... It was shipped out... On the 10th of November. This is... October's... Indie Box. They emailed me on the 20th of October saying that they weren't going to be able to get it to me until... 
late October, early November, and because they had run out of copies, they had run out of the actual box, and so that's the only complaint I have so far. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me unboxing this. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to be doing because I don't unbox a whole lot of things. Or at least not, like, I'm not a game collector, so I'm not one of these, well, every, every day I'm going to be going to fucking GameStop and I'm going to be buying fun things. Nah, I don't unbox a whole lot of shit. I usually buy stuff like I'm not going to leave this in its package. I'm going to open it up and play it and touch the shit. So, I'm not going to do a whole lot of these, but if I do get something really fancy, really nice, obviously, like, something like this, I'm probably going to continue doing IndieBox for the foreseeable future, just because... I enjoy what they do. Even if it was late, I enjoy everything that's in that box. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider to go over to the site. The link is in the description. Um, you can go to the site and check out what your price range is. You can budget yourself if you want to do a one month or a four month or whatever. Three month, excuse me, deal. The longer you go, as with everything, the cheaper it is. So you're going to save a lot of money if you do the six month one. You're going to save like 30 or 40 bucks if you do the six month one. So just go over, check it out. Uh, they you know, other downfalls, they don't really announce what game it is right away. The big issue with the Humble Monthly right now, uh, we'll get into that maybe at a later date, but check them out. Check them out, and uh, unlike most other YouTubers, I don't have a uh, reference code to get you a discount, so just go check the fucking site out, and we can talk about this later. I'm going to play more Fallout 4. Catch you guys later.